It's almost boating season and this Mercury hasn't had a carb rebuild for quite a while. This outboard is a 1998 Mercury 25. Now I'm not a marine mechanic, so I would suggest consulting your manual. Hopefully this video gives you an idea of what you're gonna need to do to remove your carburetor. I'm gonna remove the choke knob first, seen here. On the back side of the choke knob will be a horseshoe clip right here, and you should be able to just pull it out. Don't lose it, it looks like that. Now on the inboard side, you'll see a screw. That screw holds in the choke assembly, the internal components, so you need to back that out. Once you have that backed out, you can remove the choke assembly. Removing the choke assembly, just grab a hold, pull out the choke, and just pull it straight out. It will fight you just a little bit, but it should pop free. Now remove the linkage on the side of the carb. Now unfortunately, if you have electric start, you're gonna need to move that starting motor. So you'll have to take out that bolt and that one. The easy way I found to remove the one behind the carburetor is with a S-Bend wrench. Alternatively, to undo the inner bolt behind the carburetor, you could remove this plastic piece right here, but there are difficulties with getting to those bolts themselves. Now I have a cut down socket that could fit behind the outboard casing but I wanna try the way I'm doing it to see if I could get all this out as an assembly. Undo the back starter connection as well. Now remove your fuel line coming into the carb. And now you can start loosening the nuts holding the carb to the engine. One on this side and one on the other. So with the nuts removed, I can't quite get the clearance I need to remove it as assembly like I hoped. It's close, but just not, just not there. Almost. With that said, I'm gonna remove the plastic piece, which is actually a lot easier to do now. With that removed, you could pull out your linkage and then your carburetor will just pop right out. With that out of the way, you can inspect your vacuum lines and you can go in and take a quick look at your reed valves. 